Unit 1, Exercise 2 Practical Exam Sit an exam Surname Primary school Prefer Reception Fee Assume Practice Mistake Examiner Unit 1, Exercise 3 A in most countries, children go to primary school at the age of five or six. B. I don't like coffee very much. I prefer tea. C. When you enrol at a language school, you may have to sit a placement test. D. At my son's music club, the fee for a year is $400. E. The double bass and cello are stringed instruments. F. My given name is Irene. My surname is Wilson. G. I try to practice on the viola for at least 30 minutes each day. Unit 1, Exercise 4. A. 12 B 16 C 30 D 67 E 90 F 189 G 1345 H 7894 I 520000 J a million Unit 1, Exercise 6 A. He passed Grade 8 on the piano last year. B. I live in Banks Road. That's Banks. B-A-N-K-S. C. I'll sit the exam on July the 30th. D. The exams will be held at Fairview School. That's F-A-I-R-B-I-E-W. E. We're not sure of the exact time, but the meeting will be held in the afternoon. Unit 1, Exercise 9. You will now hear a conversation between a music exam candidate and the receptionist at a music school. Listen to the conversation and fill in the form as you hear the information. Hello, this is the Woodland School of Music, Irene speaking. Hello, my name's John Kepler. I want to sit my grade seven viola exam this weekend. Unit one, IELTS practice, listening one. You will now hear a conversation between a music exam candidate and the receptionist at a music school. Listen to the conversation and fill in the form. Hello, this is the Woodland School of Music, Irene speaking. Hello, my name's John Kepler. I want to sit my grade 7 viola exam this weekend, the practical exam. Can you help me? Certainly, John. How do you spell your surname, please? Kepler. That's K-E-P-L-E-R. Thanks. Yes, I can see your name here on my class list on the computer. That's grade 7 you want to sit? Yes, grade 7. Yes, I see you passed grade 6 in 2007. Now, you play the violin, John, is that right? No, not the violin. I play the viola. Oh, yes. Sorry. 
Um, now, the piano exams are in the morning and the exams for other instruments are in the afternoon. So my exam will be this Saturday afternoon, July the 17th? That's right, yes. This Saturday, July 17th. We've only got one other viola student sitting the exam, so you can choose whether you'd like to sit at 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock. Which time would you prefer? 2 o'clock would be good, thanks. That's fine. Two o'clock, then. You'll need to pay the fee at the reception desk before you sit the exam. The fee for all Grade 7 practical exams is $205. Did you say $205? That's correct, yes. Your exam room will be room 26. Room 26 is in D block. OK, thanks. Can you tell me the three pieces you'll be playing? If you tell me now, it'll save time on Saturday. Yes. From list A, I'll play the first piece by Bach. From list B, I'll play Glatzenov. That's number 13. And from list C, I'll play number 6. That's the piece by Minsky. So that's list A, number 1, list B. B number 15, oh sorry, number 13, and from list C, number 6. That's right. And John, I assume you know you'll be asked to play five scales from the list of 14 scales? Yes, I have to play five scales. Well, good luck. I'll be at the desk on Saturday, so I'll see you then. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Goodbye. Unit 1, IELTS Practice, Listening 2. You will now hear a conversation between the music exam candidate and a school music tutor. Listen to the conversation and fill in the form. Hello, John. Oh, hello, Ms. Richardson. Tell me, John, where are the music exams being held this year? At the Hillcrest Primary School again? Yes, the same place as last year, the Hillcrest Primary School. Miss Richardson, do you have any advice for me for the exam day? Well, I think it's good to get there early, at least half an hour before the exam. What time's your exam? Two o'clock. Well, I'd get there around 1.30pm. You want to practice for a little while. You want to warm up your viola and make sure it's in tune. Just remind yourself of the tuning of each string. C, G, D, a. Of course. C, G, D, A. I can't believe I'll forget, but I'll write them down. Good idea. It's best to be sure. What should I take with me, apart from my viola and music, of course? Well, let me see. Three things, I think. A spare bow would be a good idea in case you have an accident with your good one. Take a cleaning cloth to wipe the strings before you start... Oh, and take a pencil so you can make notes you want, any notes you want to, on your music. Shall I take my own music stand? That's a good idea. They could lend you one, but you might not be able to put it up quickly. So yes, take your own music stand. OK. Do you know the order of the exam? I think so. I'd better make sure, though. There are three parts to the exam. Remember that first you have a sight reading. You should be fine with that. We've done a lot of sight reading practice. Secondly, they'll ask you to play your three prepared pieces of music. And the third part is scales. I've got that. Thanks. Uh, Ms Richardson, how do they mark the exam? Well, it's marked out of 100%. The prepared pieces are the most important part. They're worth 60%. The other two parts, the sight reading and scales, are marked out at 20%. The examiner is looking mainly for accuracy and fluency. Accuracy means the right notes, in perfect tune, held for the right length, good timing. Fluency is more a matter of your style, the way you interpret the piece and play each phrase. Um, after the exam, how can I find out my mark? You can go to the Woodlands website a week after the exam and you can see your results there. 
And you'll get an official letter in the mail as well. Oh, that's right. I remember that from last year. If you pass Grade 7, you can go on to do your final grade, Grade 8, in 2009. Yes, that's my aim. Thanks, Ms Richardson. Bye for now. Goodbye, John, and good luck.